uh, we were at Kyoki's house one night rehearsing when we were in the Kala Boys. And he had this new song. It was during a practice, I remember one day in Mililani at, at Kyoki's house. He came up with this one song. He needed lyrics and a feel to the song. We all sat down. It was called Roselani. At that time too, I was I was really into a lot of Polynesian music. Samoan, Maori, Tahitian. And so I, I told him, I said, hey, you know, what if we made this a Tahitian song? You know, it had English words, but you know, we'll, we'll change certain words to give it the Tahitian flair. You know, instead of Rose Lani, we will say, hey, Devahine. Devahine in Tahitian is, is woman. Started picking up our instruments, started playing, singing a few tunes, added a few words here and there, and Love Song of Tahiti was born. Tiare Ape Tahi is um, a song that I first started writing in 1992 and didn't complete it until this anniversary project. I visited Tahiti with um, Kamehameha Schools and, and start of the Festival of Pacific Arts. Eric was um, in, in the ensemble. That was a very small trip. Um, and I believe that trip was uh, comprised only of graduates because the following month was the larger trip where they were taking all of these students. And um, of course, we were part of the graduate group that was taken. We were on the island of Ra'iatea and we took a hike up Mount Temehani. And on that, I, on, on that island, on that mountain, um, there is a flower called apetahi. Great memories, scaling the mountains, you know, with <laughs> Auntie Lolena in the front of all of us and all of us young ones dying from, <laughs> she's just going up the hill. And, and we went to a point that we couldn't go anymore because you had to scale a mountain with a rope. And uh, we had a guide and, you know, it, we just kind of stopped there and the guide went on and he, Gosh, he literally scaled the side of a mountain all the way to the top to pick these apetahi blossoms, you know, that you could only get at this one particular point. And, um, but we just sat there while we were waiting for him and, of course, out came the instruments and down came the rain and everything and we were just singing and <laughs> laughing and waiting for, uh, you know, until Lolana called him Ato Ato, but I don't know, I don't remember his, his real name. I don't even know if that was his name, the, our guide that took us. But I mean, that was so much fun. It was so much fun. The legend of the Apitahi flower is that there was a girl called Apitahi. There's one story. And um, she caught her husband cheating. So she retreated in heartbreak to Mount Timahani and she cut off her hand and buried it. And from that spot later grew the apitahi flower and it's cool because um, as a blossom you know the petals are only on one side of the flower five petals and it kind of resembles that of a hand so that was the apitahi flower only indigenous to that island and so I had this idea of you know always wanting to return back to Tahiti I've never been there since 1992 first and one and only time I do plan to go back one day and I wanted to write of that um, you know, meeting that apetahi flower and then being apart for all this time, but eventually wanting to return one day to reunite and, and um, come full circle with this experience. I always um, get nostalgic to the point that um, that was us. You know, that was, I, I could, I could kind of step into the shoes of people whom songs were written for, you know, that was us. Mm -hmm.